Okay, so this is a demonstration of how we do the breath test in Nottingham. Essentially the kits, as you know, come in a sealed package. And inside them you'll find um, a straw, a packet of citric acid, crystals, barcode labelling and also a requisite form. In the kit itself you've got two pre-test tubes and two post-test uh, tubes and then you've obviously got a pot of the Rear 13 powder. Now, the first thing to do is obviously explain the procedure to the patient, so we'll assume that's taken place and also we've consented the patient. First thing we need to do is do a breath test. So how I do it is we have a dummy kit that we use and then obviously we've got the patient's own kit, fresh kit. So we ask the patient to take the two tubes out and basically follow on what we do. So if you could just take the tops off and if you take the straw, place the straw in the tube and then actually put it in your mouth and grip it between your teeth just gently and then just blow. Lower the tube away, place the, place the stopper in. And then we do exactly the same with the other. Okay. Lower the tube. Now the main thing to make sure you do is to get the uh, tube to actually steam up this to show you've got sufficient breath in it. Okay, next thing to do is to prepare the uh, citric acid. What we do is we rip the, tape, rip the top off, sprinkle the crystals in, but then what I suggest you do is only add a small amount of water because then this allows you to give it a good swish round because these crystals can actually take quite a while to dissolve. Once they have dissolved, you can make this up between 150, 200 mils. And at this point, you ask the patient to drink it down. They don't have to drink it down all at once, um, but we do like them to drink it down you know, fairly rapidly. So if you like to drink that down. And while the patient's doing that, you can start preparing the actual urea 13. Now, there's only a very small amount of uh, urea 13 in here, so to make sure that um, it's not trapped around the lid, we just ask you to tap it down. Be very careful at this point because uh, you only need a small amount of fluid in here. If you try and overfill it, I guarantee it will overspill. Pop the lid back on, give it a shake round. You could use the same glass if it's available. Pour it in and make this up to about 20 mils, 20, 30 mils. Okay. You then ask the patient to drink that down. And it's at this point the 30 minutes start. So from now on you've made the, put, made the note of the time and in 30 minutes time you're going to ask the patient to uh, do the second breath. And essentially I say to the patient, we're going to give you these with the test tube, uh, sorry, with the uh, straw, place them in a bag, you'd write the patient's initials or, and the time that they need to do the uh, breath test. As long as it's not before the 30 minutes, it's not a problem, they can do it sort of 30, 35 minutes afterwards, if longer, so if they do uh, forget, then it's not a problem. Ask the patient whether they'd feel happy to do that. And usually what we do is we ask the patient to sit outside uh, the office so that if you do have any problems they can always give us a knock. The other important thing to do is, on, uh, is to attach the uh, barcodes. You've got pre, two pre, two post. Basically peel them off, put them on the appropriate tubes, making sure that the barcode is that way around as opposed to just get the other one as opposed to inadvertently putting them on that way because you won't get a clear flat barcode so the barcode reading won't work as well and the other thing is the requisite form where basically you've got the date uh, that the test was done the patient's initials and all the identifying numbers so the trial number and also there's an additional barcode here oops barcode here which corresponds with the ones that we've put on the tubes and that sticks on there so that when it gets to the labs it can be scanned. Obviously the other important thing to do is put the date of birth and the gender of the patient. Just make sure this is filled out very clearly because they'll only put what they think is on the form and then the next thing to do is obviously uh, sign and date it and a contact number so that if there is any problems with the labs they can contact you direct and print your name. All that will then go together and be sent uh, by the procedure. Uh, set out in the manual. If you've got any questions about this, just feel free to give me a ring. The number's in the file. I hope this is of some help to you. Thank you.